good morning students today we will continue our lesson 5 presentation visual effects so in last class we have studied how to apply animation how to add transition effects how to insert sounds how also you can uh, insert your recorded sound how you can insert the video clips to your uh, slides in your presentation so now today we will study about using action button so in powerpoint we have the facility to link a web page okay we can uh, add web page email addresses file slides in the same presentation as well as in a different presentation this can be done using hyperlink and action button so this is actually the interconnection between two files or two links okay we can interconnect our slides also we can interconnect uh, we can add some hyperlinks some email addresses file so by the using action button okay action buttons are built in shape which you can add to a presentation and set a link to another slide play sound or perform some action so by this action this action button actually built in shape okay it has some shape and it is linked it has some uh, function it is linked with that uh, your another slide it can link with your sound okay by clicking on this this action will be performed so how how we will use it or we can actually we can uh, also we can click on this save means this action button the uh, it will be a uh, work or simply we will bring our mouse cursor over there in that case also it will work so we can apply the setting so how we want to perform that how yeah, its action will be performed that is depends on the setting your so first of all we will know how to use it so first is that open an existing presentation okay next select the insert tab and click the save command in the illustration group okay we will select the save okay in the illustration group the desired action button so you can see this is the illustration group all the shapes are there which type of button you wanted you just select from here and it will come here then after uh this uh, so select the desired action button from the action button category present at bottom of display list drop down menu so you can uh, select from here so in that drop down menu or which uh, shape you wanted for your action button then after for example click on action button and uh, and option the mouse pointer will change to the plus shape okay so for here is that click on the drag and mouse diagonally as soon as mouse button uh, is released the action setting dialog box will appear so there is action setting so how you click and drag mouse diagonally okay so this your action setting dialog box will appear so you can see this is your action mouse this is your action dialog box is here this one in this you can see there is there is two option are there okay so first is your mouse click or mouse over so in action on click section the mouse click tab select hyperlink to radio button then click drop down arrow and choose the option menu from for the example previous slide for so if i select this one mouse click two options are there mouse click and mouse over so mouse in the mouse click means how it will work by the your click of when you will click your mouse there is none and hyperlink so if you this here is the radio button is there so this hyperlink is activated so hyperlink is over here your run program also you can select some sounds also you can select when uh, you will click that icon sound will play okay here is you can select the sound so this is about when it is it will uh, it will perform it will run when you click on the mouse click same that i told that play sound is also possible you can select the sound also hyperlink in the you can uh, link some files link web link you can add that so another option is also there mouse over simply you will bring the mouse over there it will start working so according to your choice you can select okay there are two actually options we have mouse click and mouse over 
ओके माउस ओवर विल मेक द एक्शन बटन परफॉर्म इट्स एक्शन वेन यू मूव योर माउस ओवर इट ओके वेन इट विल वर्क वेन यू विल मूव योर माउस ओवर इट दैट इज योर सी ये दिस इज योर माउस ओवर सो वेन यू विल वेन यू मूव योर माउस ओवर इट एंड माउस क्लिक माउस क्लिक इज दैट बट परफॉर्म वेन एक्शन यू क्लिक दैट गॉट इट सो दिस इज अबाउट दैट माउस क्लिक एंड माउस ओवर सो इन दैट सेफ इन दैट एक्शन बटन वी कैन वी हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ ऑप्शन वी कैन अप्लाई दैट इज माउस क्लिक एंड माउस ओवर ओके नेक्स्ट इज दिस शॉर्टकट की यू मस्ट नो दिस एप टेन की एफ सिफ्ट प्लस एफ टेन यू कैन सी हेयर दिस शिफ्ट प्लस शिफ्ट प्लस एफ टेन की कम्बिनेशन टू ओपन शॉर्टकट मेन्यू टू ओपन द शॉर्टकट मेन्यू वट इज द शॉर्टकट की शिफ्ट प्लस एफ टेन got it and window key plus r is to open the to run your search box to uh, to uh, this uh, window key plus r you will press you will uh, you will see your run box in that in box you can type the powerpoint and you can enter so this is to open the your shortcut key to open microsoft powerpoint window plus r and there, there you have to write powerpoint okay and shift plus f10 for the shortcut menu okay next is that whenever you have done this all action button then you will press the f5 f5 is the shortcut key to run your slide show as you know you have already studied in class 5 as well in class 4 what is the shortcut key to run your slide show f5 so when you will press the f5 your slide show will start uh, running from the beginning okay so one more thing you should know if you press shift plus shift plus f5 so in this case your slide will run from your your slide will run from from current slide where from where it will run from the current slide okay and if simply you press only you have pressed f5 so only you have pressed suppose f5 only so it will start your your slide will uh, from the beginning it will run okay your slide so will run from the beginning only you have press f5 but with the combination of shift plus f5 you will press it will run from the current slide only from so where you are now from the current slide it will run but simple only f5 you will press it will run from your it will start uh, showing your slide so from the beginning got it okay so this is about the action button okay next is that importing data from the word so we can also import data from the word file suppose in the ms word file or in the excel file we have some file uh, we have some data and that i want to use in our presentation that means in our ms uh, powerpoint i want to use so that is also pro uh, pro possible importing data save your time and effort so what is the what is the uh, benef benefit of this we can save our time so what are the steps so a step is that first of all we will go to the start program start all program microsoft office and microsoft word 2010 then after we will create a new document so in view tab in the view tab you can see here in the view tab this is your view tab in the view tab there is outline okay outline button in the outline button then after we will write this uh, our document whatever i have to uh, use so i will write here my document so i will after writing over you can see this okay then after what we will do we will close the outline view and return to the print layout view got it we will return to the print layout view once our writing is over then i will here, here is the close option i will close my outline view and i will return to the print layout view then after select the types of software so first example you can see types of software so i will select the type of software and apply heading 1 and from the style group from home tab so in the home tab in the home tab there is a style group what is there in the home tab style group and then after select system software this is the again system software then and application software and choose heading 2 and what i will choose heading 2 so again this heading 2 we will select in the where you will select in the style group so what is this heading 1 and heading 
heading 1 and heading 2 is like that types of software and I have chosen in the heading 1 it means types of software types of software will be written like this in the types of software okay in the it will be in the little bold form or little uh, and in the big in the size it's a font size will be bigger then after system software and application software so that system software will start from here system software and application software so it look like this is the type of software this is your uh, heading and there is two example like system software and application software so that's come under heading 2 you will understand from here better so this is your generally you have seen this one normal no spacing heading 1 heading 2 heading 3 so heading 1 this is your heading 1 heading 2 I am talking about this heading got it I am talking about these headings okay so you can see heading 1 it's a bigger size and heading 2 it will be little less so from here first of all we will select that one types of software from heading 1 and system software and applica uh, application software in heading 2 so this is these things you will uh, get in the where you will find in the home tab where in the home tab in the style group you can see this is the in the home tab this is the home tab and this is in the uh, style group okay this is see here this is the style group is written over here so the in the home tab in the style group you will get the heading so one by one you will import according to your as you want to uh, uh, show your document so you will apply one by one then after next is that so see here similarly heading 2 heading 3 okay in a heading 3 all things we have applied after applying that what we have to do we have to means uh, how I have to arrange like heading 1 heading 2 who will come after that so likewise we will arrange from here heading then after like uh, just you can see in heading 2 application software on heading 3 Microsoft Word Paint and Scratch okay next is that you can see the here also and see types of software to come under that example system software application software then examples come under that so this is about like this is the this is possible this type of arrangement because of the heading okay that heading uh, we have this heading style we have used so that's why this type of arrangement we have done then after click on the save and save as and we will write the file name and we will save our here we can save then after then after that start microsoft powerpoint and open any existing presentation click on view tab and select slide sorter view so what we will do start ms powerpoint and then any existing presentation click on view tab and then select the slide shorter button which button slide shorter button about this also we will study then i'm just now after that we will study then new slide uh, drop down menu on the home tab slide show from outline option insert outline dialog box will appear so these are the view these uh, these things with uh, like outline view slide shorter outline this is the actually view so how uh, our presentation i want to look so this is about the view only then after select the file insert okay so observe that new slide generated uh, get inserted in your text and slide so this is to insert your slide in this form to insert your slide in which view slide shorter button okay in that uh, in this uh, this uh, slide shorter button by this slide shorter button in this view we can add the some powerpoint or some slides we can insert you can see this is your uh, slide shorter view this these three slides we have in the shorter form the software types of software and these things we have arranged it so this is about your importing importing data from word next is that viewing presentation now just i'm talking now viewing presentation once your presentation is over i want to view i want to see my presentation which uh, slides are where how which animations are there which uh, transitions are there some changes I want to do so these all things we can do here so you can view your presentation different formats such as normal view so how many types of view are there like normal view outline view slice order view note view note page view 
reading view slide show view so these are the views are there and very important one by default by default user always work in the which view normal view you have to remember this one by default always work on the normal view got it okay so first of all we will study about the normal view in the main editing view in main uh, editing view which is used to create and design presentation in normal view you can add text graphics sound animation and other effects so in this view you can as i told earlier i just told you when we are uh, uh, when we are reading about the how to add animation how to add the transition i told that in the normal view also we can add in the there was written like in the tips okay tips which was written in the slide shorter view we can add some transition also so in this view normal view in normal view you can add text graphics sound animation not transition one well, animation and other effects on the slide so in slide shorter view transition can transition effect uh, effects can be applied but in the normal view all these things graphics animation and other effects we can apply but not transition effect only we can work on the slides only okay so these things we can do in the normal view to uh, in the slide shorter view we can add the uh, we can add transition in our in the slide transition effects we can apply in the slide shorter view okay so this is about the normal view next is that how you can see this normal view you can see here so all the views are present over here you can see it so these are the normal these options you have this normal view options is there you can see normal view slide shorter view slide so reading view slide pen split bar note pen so you can see there are all these views are here okay so this is about your view and one by one we will study about this got it so now one more shortcut key you should know if you want to the uh, insert a duplicate slide in slide shorter view i want to as i told that in the uh, slide shorter view what we can do in the slide shorter view we can add the transition okay we can add the transition to the slide in the slide shorter view and there is a shortcut key also control plus d to answer the duplicate slide control plus d next we have slide shorter view we will study about the slide shorter view and then sorry one more we have to study here outline view so before this also you should know about this one already you know about this thing which is that ribbon title bar this is the components of microsoft screen tab quick access toolbar it is called slide tab outline tab you can see this is called slide tab outline tab these are the groups font group paragraph group and here is your you can see this is your status bar note pen this is your placeholder this is your view button this is your here is your ruler it is your dialog box launcher so this is the actually this is your what this is your ms powerpoint screen okay and these are the components this thing you already know just i just give you the quick revision of this all so now for we will study outline view so outline view is that in the in this view it display the text in the presentation what is the what is the use of this view outline view it display the text in the presentation okay the outline tab display only text on your slide in outline pen on the left okay as i told that it display text this allow you to quickly edit the text on the slide and view the content of all slides so we can edit the text and we can view the text in which view outline view okay next is uh, next we have slide shorter view okay so so slide shorter view is that here is this is uh, actually i forgot to say this is your this type of view normal view you can see this all slides are in this uh, thumbnail form as you can see so this is your this type of view normal view now outline view is over now the the slide title and text appear along with the slide number and slide icon so 
that is also come with that number and icon see now next one is slide sorter view slide sorter view is that it display miniature view of all the slides in the presentation in slide sorter view you can change the order of slide insert the delete the slide so and add the transitions as i told as i mentioned that in the slide sorter view what we can do we can add the transition effects we can insert the slides we can delete the slides so with the slide any changes or any uh, addition any uh, editing work we can do in which view slide sorter view with the but in the normal view we can add we can do work with the animation uh, uh, sound graphics and these things we can do work in the normal view we can work with the normal view these all things but in the case of slide sorter view we can work with the slide actually in the one word i just explain it in the normal view we can work inside the slide means the all the object or the elements of the slide but in the slide sorter view we can work with the slide how it will come means like transition uh, editing uh, means uh, deleting and setting of slide so that means in the slide sorter view so its name is also like slide sorter view so in this view you can see and there and you want to duplicate to enter the duplicate slide so control, control plus d is the shortcut key to view tab on click on the slide sorter button so you can see this is the button for the slide sorter and you can see this type of sorting you will see this is your slide sorter view and what is the miniature miniature means the small picture you can see this all slides come in the small small picture so that is your miniature miniature means illumination means small small picture this is your miniature view miniature means small picture okay and the next is your not page view. not page view not page view is available on view tab if you add not while working on the normal view you can see them in the not page not page view it uh, display the image of selected slide along with the notes related to the slide this note is help while you are showing the presentation note means suppose i am i am teaching the uh this particular uh, subject this particular page i have written this note suppose this is my note so this note means i want to dictate at the some time so it will be easy let us to know about this what is the note so very important note is here also action button are not to be inserted in the master slide very important it is action button are not used in the where we are not used in the master slide okay is a very important and also you should remember this one action button are not to be inserted in master slide okay so suppose this is my note and in the note it is very important thing is written okay so this is about note page view next is our reading view reading view use uh, this is our reading view you can see in the reading view you can view the presentation as slide so that uh, fit with within a window okay it will fit in the window you can you you can you, you you will use this view when you run the presentation on your computer and do not want to show the show to audience so this reading view means this is for your for your purpose you can view how it look like you want to see your and you don't want to show and you don't want to show to the audience okay so this is the reading view next is your slide show view in this view you uh, view used when you deliver your presentation to the audience so this slide show view when it is used when you are delivering to the presentation to the audience so when you are delivering so this is this view is your slide show view and when you are not delivering to the audience this is your reading view so you you were only reading it next is your you can see this is the note page view this is your slide show view so it is from like that you can run your slide from the is the uh, from beginning from current okay so this f5 i already i told about this shortcut key if you press the f5 key your if you simply simply you will press the f5 key your presentation will run from the from where it will run from the beginning if you if you have press shift plus shift plus f5 then your presentation will run from current slide got it if you press the shift plus f5 your presentation will run from the current slide and only f5 it will run from the beginning okay
next we have the slide master so slide master is an element of the template that store information including font style placeholder position of text and object bullet style background design and color script so this is about slide master is an is an element that is store means we can apply to the uh, all the slide we can uh, if we change in the single slide and that i want to apply for the all the slide so that we can do from this slide master so this is the boss of the slide this exactly means this is the head boss from here we can apply to the all the slides so how we can do it slide master set the default layout and formatting for the all the other slide as i told that it is it control the other slide we can apply from here only it actually control the entire presentation okay it control the entire presentation any changes made in the slide master page automatically reflect to the every presentation slide master consists of two as i told that any changes if you will do in the slide master that changes will reflect on the different different slides also so there are two placeholder what are the name slide title placeholder and body placeholder as i show you the picture when i was giving the revision so you can see the placeholder i, I had shown the picture of that one please about the placeholder i i just show you the picture i have given see here see here this is the placeholder you can see here okay so same thing is here about their placeholder that is first one so slide title placeholder and body text placeholder so this is you can see here is that these two are there this is a click on, on edit master style sorry master title style click to edit master subtitle okay so first of all each slide master contain one or more standard or custom set of layout so this is your master one so master each master uh, each slide master contain one or more standard or custom set layout okay one or more all it contains that first of all we study about side sorry slide title placeholder so slide title placeholder it uh, it is the first placeholder for title of the page so this is for the first placeholder for the title of the page okay it contains the title it contains the title as its name slide title placeholder so it contains the title you can move the title placeholder anywhere on the slide so title means you, its just name suggest it is the title we are writing their title it contains the title then after body text placeholder holder body means there we will write the next thing means like a uh, information detail brief uh, information the placeholder include general objects like text with bullet chart pictures and any more so that is the your body text okay about the body text placeholder to work with the slide so how we will work so there is the step to open slide master view click on the slide master you can see where is the slide master but you can see th this is the tab for the slide master here this is your slide master tab is here just after so here you have to click and then you can use this insert master insert layout theme background page setup orientation close footer headers so all this adjustment we can do on the slide master and whatever changes i will do over here the same changes will reflect to the other slides also so now slide master we will open then like a slide master tab in the slide master task slide master view we, you can see there is a title contact title content okay so we can content themes are there edit themes backgrounds also we can change font style colors already i told you these all things you can see you can change in the slide and you can change in the note and handout also for both the options are there in the header, header and footer there is an option for the header and footer in the header side what you want in the footer side what you want so in the header side the slide how it will look like so this all things you can adjust it here you can see the preview also after changing header and footer of the slide how it will look like you can check it here also okay change the text color okay header and footer we had we can change we can the content we can change then after select the font color also so in the the change font color will appear all the slides in the slide master task pane on the left 
लाइकवाइज यू कैन अप्लाई डिफरेंट फॉर्मेट चेंजेस लाइक विथ स्पेसिफिक ले आउट ओके रिमेंबर दैट द टेक्स्ट ऑन स्लाइड मास्टर इज यूज ओनली फॉर स्टाइलिंग ओके सो टेक्स्ट ऑन द स्लाइड मास्टर इज यूज फॉर स्टाइलिंग इट इज यूज फॉर द स्टाइलिंग द टेक्स्ट ऑन एक्चुअल स्लाइड सच एज टाइटल एंड लिस्ट शुड बी टाइप्ड इन नॉर्मल व्यू सो इट शुड बी इन द नॉर्मल व्यू फॉर टेक्स्ट ऑन एक्चुअल स्लाइड सच एज टाइटल्स लिस्ट शुड बी इन द नॉर्मल व्यू गॉट इट ओके द टू एंटर एडिट हेडर एंड फूटर कॉन्टेंट क्लिक ऑन द हेडर एंड फूटर एज यू एज आई हैव टोल्ड हेडर एंड फूटर डायलॉग बॉक्स यू कैन चेंज इट यू कैन एंड देन आफ्टर क्लोज देर इज ऑप्शन देर इज अ बटन फॉर द क्लोज यू कैन सी देर इज द क्लोज मास्टर ओके सो यू कैन क्लोज द स्लाइड मास्टर देन आफ्टर यू देन आफ्टर यू कैन सी योर प्रजेंटेशन योर प्रजेंटेशन इज रेडी यू कैन प्रेस एफ फाइव और एंड यू कैन रन द एंड आफ्टर एंड हाउ यू विल स्टॉप वन योर प्रजेंटेशन इज ओवर सो यू हैव टू यूज द वन की इज देयर ई स्केप की ई एस सी टू स्टॉप योर प्रजेंटेशन वट इज द की ई स्केप की ई एस सी ओके थैंक यू